from you. <laughs> All right, when we return, a cool shop in Dreampoint reminding us that comics are for kids, too. And right around the corner, the owner opened another bookstore in a hidden location. Well, as the weather cools, you might find yourself indoors more and looking for something to read for yourself and for your kids. Ashley Bellman found the perfect place to stock up on comics and then around the corner, some Pulp Fiction in an unlikely and hidden location. Today I am checking out not one, but two very impressive bookshops right here in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Okay, Jason, so we are here in Hey Kids Comics, which is one of two of your bookstores, but first tell me how this one got started. Uh, sure, during the pandemic, my son Fletcher and I started dragging boxes of comics and graphic novels out to the street in the grand New York tradition of sidewalk book selling, and really fell in love with picking books and putting them in the hands of interested people in places that they least expected it. Okay, so tell me about what is here in this specific store. Hey Kids Comics is New York's only comic shop specializing in graphic novels for kids. The comic industry fought the perception of being just for kids for so long that it eventually became not for kids at all. So in the early aughts, there was really kind of uh, a boom in kids' graphic novels, and it was kind of brought about by a lot of traditional kids book publishers, scholastic and independent publishers. Those people in conjunction with great librarians discovering this stuff really has kind of like led to this becoming one of the biggest parts of book selling. When people ask me for a recommendation, it becomes kind of a nightmare for them. And they eventually ask me to stop because I've, I've picked out every single book here yeah. and I didn't pick out any bad ones. So, you That's know, great. I can, you know, it's sorry. a great problem to have. <laughs> This is a section devoted to early readers. Of course, Dogman. And anyone who is a parent knows and has read Dogman. Of all the books that I've given to reluctant readers, this is the one that parents come back in and say, I can't believe that my kid has you know, started re really reading on their own. Don't you, right? As a parent, don't you feel like you have to like it too? Like, I feel like it just makes it so much better when you're enjoying the book also. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's the thing. Dogman is legitimately funny and full of deep cut references that only grown-ups get. And then actually the reason that I found you is because we love a hidden situation mm -hmm. in New York City and you actually opened a hidden bookstore around the corner. So I guess, should we go there and then you can tell yeah. me about it? When yeah, I'd love there? to show you. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Okay, so this is a legitimate bodega. Indeed. Where are the books? So we have them uh, right over here. Oh, perfect. Okay. So any specific genre of books here that you don't, obviously it's not all comic books. I see different types of books, right? Yeah, no comic books at all. But I mean, I guess it started out of my love of pulp fiction, mass market paperbacks, uh, science fiction, crime and mystery. You know, the type of books that were meant to be purchased at your corner store with a bottle of soda and a candy bar. You know, the idea of kind of come across something that you don't even know that you want. And like you said, New Yorkers love a hidden situation. So thank you for feeding that frenzy. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. I also love a bookstore, a good old fashioned bookstore. You go in, you peruse the aisles, you ask questions instead of just like searching online and we can't ask anybody any questions. So I'm gonna go check that out. And yeah, I'm a parent. I know all about the Dogman books. We gotta stack it home, they're good ones. All right, thank you, Ashley.